welcome welcome to the ninth part of this ACT solution series so in this part we will start with data interpretation so let's follow let's uh, read carefully this uh, table at first then we will solve uh, three questions from this program so the following table shows the number of licensed drivers uh, in thousands by age and sex so this table is showing the age uh, that is uh, from it starts from 18 and ended from 75 and the male drivers in thousand is there total number is given here the female drivers list is given here and the, the total number is here 432 so they have asked uh, 41 41 43 three questions from this problem from this table so the first question they have asked that the percentage of total drivers under 20 is approximately what so we have to find out the <coughs> percentage of 20 drivers uh, whose age is under 20. So the under 20 age uh, male drivers and female drivers, uh, we will consider male drivers and female di drivers together only. So the solution of class for 41, problem number 41 will be so the number we have to find out the number of total drivers, right? So the number of total drivers. <laughs> under 20 uh, will be is equal to so the under 20 means the the age range will lies between will lie between 18 to 19 so 51 plus 90 so is equal to 51 plus 9 that is 60 okay and to find out the percentage value we need the total number of drivers so the total of male and female drivers we have to add these two values also so the total <coughs> number of drivers will be 968 plus 432 is equivalent to uh, the value will be 1400 okay so to find out the percentage it is easy you have to just find out the ratio between these two value so the percentage of so the answer is the percentage of total drivers under 20 is equal to 60 by 1400 into 100 right so if you solve this <laughs> you will find the value will be approximately 4.3 so this is the right answer is option b okay very easy question so let's go to the question number two they have asked that, asked that the number of male and <coughs> female drivers in the age group of 25 to 44 are what so the age group of 25 and 44 so the number of drivers in the age group of 25 and 44 are <coughs> this is the this that this range starting from this and it uh, ends here so this is the entire range so the number of male drivers in the age group of 25 to 44 are 92 plus 95 plus 97 plus 99 we have to find out the value and similarly we have to find out the number of female drivers in the age group of uh, this range that is from 43 plus 45 for 63 plus 61 okay so this is very easy question so to solve this uh, we have to find that the number of <coughs> male drivers in 25 to 44 this age group okay and this age group is equal to 92 plus 95 plus 97 plus 99 so 92 plus 95 plus 97 plus 99 and similarly the female driver total is in this range is 43 plus 45 plus 63 plus 61 okay we'll add this one also is equal to 45 plus <coughs> 63 plus 61 plus 43 so the value will be is equal to uh, 383 and this is equivalent to 212. So the answer will be correct answer will be uh, <coughs> option number B. Got it? Let's go to the question number 43. So they have asked that the percentage of total drivers, the percentage of total drivers in the age group of 30 to 59 is approximately what? So to find out this, we have to find out the uh, just let me change the color of my ink. Okay, so the range starts from 30 to 30 and it ends 
here 59 so this blue range is my new uh, solution of my question number 43 they have asked that the number of male drivers in the age group of 30 to 59 it will be this so we'll add these all values okay similarly we have to find out the number of female drivers who lies between this 32 for 59 that is from 45 to 33 we will add all these values so uh, by adding all these values we will get the total number of drivers irrespective of male and female the total number of drivers then again we will add these two values and we will uh, we will uh, find the ratio of this total driver of, of this range divided by the total number so let's solve it so here number of <coughs> male drivers 32 to 59 this age group will be 95 97 99 106 100 111 and 87 so is equal to 95 plus 97 plus plus 106 plus 111 plus 87 okay similarly number of female drivers in 32 to 59 this age group will be will be 45 plus 63 plus 61 plus 54 49 33 okay let's add these values it will be 45 plus 63 plus 61 plus 54 plus 49 plus okay 33 and we'll add all these values if you sum all these values we will get the total number of male drivers in the range of 32 32 to 59 will be 595 and the total number of female drivers in the range within the range of 30 to 59 will be this equal to three uh, 305 so the total number of drivers so the total number of drivers in this age 30 to 59 is 305 plus 595 is equal to 305 plus 595 which is equal to 800 900 okay and we know that total number of uh, drivers is 1400 we have we we uh, solved this earlier just adding these two values so we will find the ratio between these two so therefore the percentage of drivers in 30 to 59 age group is equal to 900 divided by 1400 into 100 so it will be approximately uh, equivalent to um, 64.3 so it is equivalent to option number b okay so this is the answer of this question so in this way we have solved this entire data interpretation for the first question data interpretation which is actually representing a table and from by observing this table you can solve actual actually three pro problems now let's come to the question number 44. Just a second. okay so let's begin with question number 44 here they have represented a, a, a table that is 26 countries own gold medal in commonwealth games of 2022 the following table lists them with the number of gold medals okay they have given australia to british virgin islands okay so they have asked that the, which of the following statement is true now you have to this is the trick so they have asked four questions here. Okay, first question is Australia and England own 40% of the gold medals. Number of second question is number of countries which own at least six gold, gold medals is 11. So this is some kind of tricky. So let's find one by one that number of countries which own at least six gold medals, which at least means it can be six, it can be six and more. Okay, so just find that whether uh, there are how many countries there are, are there who have <coughs> uh, we have uh, own medal not more than six okay this, this will be it will be easier so <coughs> less than six so it will be 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And there are total you know, 26 countries here. So obviously, we can eliminate the option B. That is, uh, they have said that the number of countries who have won at least six gold, gold medal is 11. But my calculation is showing it's at least 13. Okay. So in this way, you can you can eliminate some options. Okay. But otherwise, it will take a huge time to solve this kind of problem. So at first, let's count the total number of gold medals. Okay. The total number of gold, and the third option is number of countries which own less than four gold medal is eight. Similarly, you can, you can eliminate this option. Option D is Australia, England, Canada, and India together own more than 60% of gold medal. This is probable, but you have to solve this by doing a sum. Uh, so to solve this, uh, let's find out the total number of gold medals is equal to just sum all these value. You will find the value will be 280. Okay. Now the percentage of gold medal. So they have said that the total name of the countries are Australia, England, Canada, and India. So the percentage of gold medals owned by Australia and England is so the percentage of gold <coughs> owned by Australia and England is equal to what will be the value? Uh, this is Australia, this is England. So 67 plus 57 div uh, divided by 280 into 100. This is the percentage value. So if you solve this, it will give around um, Sorry, suddenly I lost my connection. Okay, so <clears throat> here you get that the value is equal to 67 plus 57 by 200 into 100. So it is, it will be around 44.3%. Uh, okay, now the number of countries which own at least six gold medal is 13. We have already found this because just consider that not the, not the number of countries which have not own more than six medals is the is this this is six this is 13 so obviously the total number of countries is 30, 20, 26 so the remaining country will be 13, 13 so you can easily eliminate this option and similarly the number of countries which are less than four gold medal is so you have to find the number of countries which have not won four medals so less than four means these all countries the number will be 12 so you can easily eliminate option d also option b c also so and they have asked that uh, Australia and England own about 40% of the gold medal. By, but, by, but my answer is 44.3% in the case of total number of gold medal owned, owned by Australia and England. So you can also eliminate option A. So the, obviously, the, by the law of option test, the option D will be the correct answer. But let's verify whether it is correct or not. So the percentage of <coughs> gold medals owned by Australia, England, Canada, and India is equal to 67 plus 57 plus 26 by 22. So let's sum all this value. It will be 67 plus 57 plus 26 plus 22 divided by 280 into 100. It will give approximately the value of 61.4%. OK, so 61.4%. Uh, so this is all this is nearer to the value of option d and this is some higher than uh, option a so te technically you can say that the option d will be the correct answer okay so it's very easy you can you can solve it by using the option test method by eliminating the option method or you can just calculate the values by using the table and in, in, in and in every way you will find the solution in the correct manner okay so let's go to the last question of this ninth part of this lecture series so the question number 45 is showing a chart and this, uh, the following chart shows that the yearly number of bicycle fatalities in the city from 1994 to 2012. 
So they have asked that the which years have the maximum and the minimum numbers of bicycle fatalities. So you can just observe this chart, and you will find that uh, the chart shows that the maximum number of fatalities in the year of uh, technically it will be in the year of look this is 1994 this is 1996. So if, so if it is 1996, so obviously this will be 1994. Okay, this part, not this this part. Okay, so this will be 1995, 1995, okay, and <clears throat> this is showing the value of more than 1800, 800, and can you say any other, any other area which is, sorry, look, this is the maximum point because if I draw a straight line from this point, this is also lower than this value, so obviously, 1995 is showing the maximum point so 1995 will be the will be the maximum point which 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 is showing the maximum <coughs> number of bicycle fatalities now you have to find out the minimum so by option test you can easily eliminate these two options so we, we got that the maximum value is 1995 and this is in the option a and option b now we have to find that whether 2010 or 2003 which is the minimum point so obviously you just draw a line this is the minimum point you can easily understand by observing in the naked eye uh this is the 2003 and this is 2000 sorry and the and other option is will be 2010 okay so obviously 2003 is uh, uh 2010 is lower position than 2000 let's draw a straight line from here and from here obviously 2010 is lower in from from 2003 so the option option will be to the a where we can find that the 2010 was the minimum number of bicycle fatalities and 2000, 1995 was was the uh, uh, recorded the maximum number of bicycle fatalities okay so by this we have we have completed this ninth session and we will meet in the 10th part thank you